Hey everybody, it's Tom with TKI, and this afternoon we are going to discuss our fix for the Gen 5 bottom drive shaft. Uh, all the guys that have gotten out on the snow with them, lots of great reviews, you know, the machine being really good, running really good, and making really good power. Just a little couple bugs that we have found uh, with it. Uh, one of them is the bottom drive shaft. Uh, I have one here. This is a brand new drive shaft, uh, never been installed, and it's got the quick connect hub. Great idea as far as if you're changing tracks a lot, but overall longevity, I don't think it's gonna work. Uh, it, it's, it's causing issues, uh, there's some weird noises, vibrations, and what is happening is the drive shaft, when you put it back on the splines, it wobbles a lot. Uh, if you put the gear on and you put an indicator across the gear, on the front or the back side, it'll move 172 thousandths. On a used drive shaft that we have in the shop, it's 225 thousandths. So the wobble on the gear is way more than what I think is even acceptable. And what we've seen is some gear failures and some chain failures. Uh, the chain is constantly going from, or the gear is going from tight to loose and it's wobbling and it's stretching the chain. And we're seeing and hearing a lot of guys complain about metal in the chain case and how bad the, the, they're having to tension their chain on a regular basis. It, it's all issues that we believe is stemming from this two piece bottom drive shaft. So, what I've gone and done is I have created an insert. Half of the drive shaft or half of the insert will go into, the silver part will go into the bottom drive shaft from the brake rotor side. Uh, so this insert unthreads. So, so the aluminum side of this insert will insert through the brake rotor side. So if you take the brake rotor cover off, there's a plastic plug in the end of the shaft on the rotor side, and you'll take that out. This will slide in, and what we do is we use a broom handle. We insert it across through the drive shaft, and we're coating the inside of the drive shaft where this slides in with some green sleeve retainer. We're also putting some sleeve retainer on this insert. Uh, this insert is threaded, and then the opposite side, we have this, I'm calling it a steel shoulder bolt. So this will insert into the end of the drive shaft. Uh, we use this big steel washer to set everything in place. So once this gets inserted, coated with a uh, sleeve retainer, this will go in on the outside. Uh, this big steel washer actually bottoms out on the end of the shaft, just like that. And basically we're using that to set this insert so the Loctite sets up. So after the Loctite sets up, we want to make sure to clean off any of the extra Loctite on the end of this. We don't want it getting into the threads because that sleeve retainer, if you thread this in, you're gonna really hate life trying to get this back out. So we are using that washer to basically locate everything, let the green Loctite set up. Then when that's done, we take the washer off and then the shoulder bolt will thread in from the chain case side. Uh, the, there will be a threaded hole in the center to hold our bottom gear on with our belt drive. And then for the chain case guys that don't run our belt drive, we actually have, see how fast I am? I'm quick as a cat. But we have this disc. So this disc has got your magnets on it. Well, this disc also has a hex machined on the inside that snaps right over the end of the shoulder bolt. So now this insert can be used in a chain case sled. None of the oil will leak through. The hole uh, does not go through on, the, on the, the bolt and everything goes back together. Blue Loctite on the threads and with the 9 16 hex uh, on the end, torque it to 40 foot pounds and it locks that bottom drive shaft together. You can get it undone if you have to change a track. You just have to loosen or take this shoulder bolt out. This will stay in the sled. Simple, easy setup. 
we've had it on the snow, we've got it on chain case sleds, we've got it on belt drive sleds, and it works awesome. It's taking the growling out of the chain case, it's taking the flex out of the chain case, and we're not seeing the chain stretch near as fast as what they were before we started doing this insert. So this will be up on the website. We'll start shipping early next week. But so yes, so these will be shipping. Uh, the chain case models will come inner sleeve, large washer, shoulder bolt, and a disc with your speed sensor magnets. Uh, for the belt drive version, it will just come with the aluminum sleeve, the washer, and the shoulder bolt. And then all of our stuff will bolt right in to use the center hole to bolt on our bottom gear. So hopefully you guys find this useful. This is just some things that we have found uh, on the skidoo, uh, on the bottom drive shaft. So, if you have any questions, reach out to us here at the shop, 406-534-3478, or send us a message on Instagram or Facebook. Thanks, have a great day. So what am I doing now?